Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. You guys may be wondering why I have been doing so much Jurassic World and Jurassic Park stuff lately. It is because I simply got this giant, giant haul a couple days ago. Um, when I posted my Dilophosaurus video of, where's that guy? Yeah, that guy right there behind the Baryonyx butt. Um, that's when I got the stuff. Um, I do have some of these things, you know, already um, in my collection, but there's a lot of stuff in this collection that I did not have before. This is from one purchase and I went over to the next city. Um, it's about like an hour and a half or so away. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call the title of this video, but it should be, I stole somebody's Jurassic Park collection because literally I paid $150 Canadian for this, which is about $10 US. I think with this horrible, horrible exchange rate, which is just ridiculous. It's like even alone, like see that Thrash and Throw T-Rex right there? That goes for $59 at my Walmart and at my Toys R Us. So right there, that's like half of the purchase price right there. Um, they could not take any of the stuff with them. And they're just like, hey, I, I noticed that you kind of have some ads out there like looking for Jurassic Park stuff. Would you be maybe interested in my collection? I'm like, yes, yes, sir. I would be interested in your collection. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I thought we were thought we were gone for good there. I thought, I thought that camera was toast. But okay, what was I saying? Score on this collection. That blue sucker, he's just so big. I think I'm gonna end up hanging that like on my ceiling, kind of like dangling down a little bit. Sorry, I was like in the middle of burping. I wasn't in the middle of crying there. If you guys want to see how truly big this collection is, then look at it compared to my muffin. Actually, Muffin, you make the collection look a little smaller than it is, so get off. Muffin is the whole size of the collection. <laughs> hey, Muffin, go. You're ruining the whole video. Muffin, go. Muffin, go. <laughs> what the heck? You can't just claw me in like that. Muffin, go. Out. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> Clawing me in. Let's get a little closer look and I will go through these things one by one. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of figures. I can clearly see, you know, some um, Lost World Jurassic Park figures. I see some like Wave One figures as well. There's like Billy, there's the mom, um, there's like Kirby's Peyton Tile Plus guy. Here is a Triceratops um, from the Lost World Jurassic Park. It is um, Site B, JP44. And if you move one of these legs, it like go bucks. And it's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm sure that's exactly how the Triceratops sounded. And then here is the Barry Onyx figure. Um, I, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship with these Jurassic World toys. I love them so much, but it's just, they're so freaking expensive. Oh yeah, nice roar sounds, nice healthy, loud sounding roars. So here are all the Dilophosaurus that I got. This guy is from the first series. This is the electronic Dilophosaurus and this is the Dilophosaurus from um, Jurassic Park 3. This guy, this guy's pretty cool. His sound is just exactly like it is in the movie. So here, I'll bring him up to the microphone to here. Um, I forgot what this guy sounds like, but I have a working one downstairs. This guy doesn't work right now. Um, so let's move it along. And then here we have this small little Spinosaurus. He fits right in your pocket. This guy is pretty cool. He makes two types of sounds. Um, so all you have to do is press the button underneath there on his jaw and he'll move his jaw. And then you also gotta press this wound. So here, let me press the wound for you. Okay, it sounds more like a cat than a Spinosaurus. If anyone ever asked me, you know, what what dinosaur do you want as a pet? I always said Parasaurolophus because it's basically like a freaking T-Rex. They're both rather large. You can ride him and everything like that, but you get all the benefits of not having a savage, vicious carnivore. And, and this guy is JP19. He is from Site B. So he is from the Lost World line. And when you press this little thing on his rump, he goes, la la la. Dance and his college tuition off. This is the original Rex from the Jurassic Park 1 line. It is the first T-Rex to come out. I already did a video on this, but I'm just brushing you up. This guy does have the wound that comes on and off. And this guy is JP06. And if you remember, Red Rex is JP0969. This guy's pretty cool. You can actually turn the propeller um, by turning this little wheel here underneath. It does have a little piece of ammunition in the front. So I'm pretty sure if you push the wheel, it... oh. 
Uh, okay, uh, little packy self source JP07 from Lost World Jurassic Park line. These guys are the very, very first dinosaur to ever come out in the Jurassic Park line of toys. They are JP01, and I kind of feel like I got little guns in my hand. All you have to do is push their back leg like that, and you got the fastest hands in the West. Another cool Jurassic Park 3 item here. He also makes a sound. But he's not working. I really like the paint job on this guy. He definitely looks like an aqua brachiosaurus. So it looks like when you push his foot down, his tail wags. Boys always wanted to do this one second. Okay. I want to snap it. Oh, God, it's hard. Just snap him up. But yes, this is the thrash and throw. It has like this little button here. So whenever you uh, brush it up against something, it will make that boomy boomy sound. If you want to make this thing stop, Stomping. I'm pretty sure there's like this little tab thing here that you jimmy rig it, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Then I also had these two T-Rexes from Jurassic Park 3. They are like the same, I really like the paint job on them. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a little baby version of this big guy. This guy's got a little wound and when you press it, it makes a sound, but he's not working right now. And then this guy, when you press his wound, he makes a sound. Or if you pull this guy's arm, he makes this sound. Yes, and you can make them talk. And then I got a butt ton of these really cute little Jurassic Park 3 figures, little tiny T-Rex as well, and on, and we have this guy, which I really like. I think he's really, really cute, and he's quite heavy because he's quite he's quite fat. Never seen these little guys before. They are so cute. They're like little tiny compies, and I really, really like these. And then we also have this Jurassic Park 3 motor sickle. And then, guys, I inherited this cute little pack of raptors. It's my own raptor pack. So in the comments down below, I wanna know what is your favorite series of a raptor? So these guys are from Jurassic Park 3, these guys are from Jurassic Park 1, and this guy is from Jurassic Park 2, I believe. Um, so Lost World, 1997, yeah, so that's gotta be Lost World. He's got this little feature where his arms move, um, kinda like a baby, he's like, wah, wah, I want some meat. So got this little open wound here where if you press a little button in here, he makes this sound. These guys are like exactly the same. They just have a different paint job. And I have dubbed these guys the Jesus Raptors because like their paint job, it just looks like kind of crucifixes all around. It looks like tattoos. It kind of looks like they just got out of prison and they just became like born again Christians. And here we have the two classics. This guy is JP3. And when he, he kind of like talks, when you move his legs together like that, when you press them together. Um, and then this guy is the electronic guy and he is JP10 and it screams. Oh. I didn't really remember it sounding like an old lady pretending to act surprised on her surprise birthday. And here's the last rapper. I believe this is from uh, Lost World. Tyranny, Ranny Dawn's here. Like, I don't know what it is about this guy, but it's just something about his head, okay? Like, all jokes aside, that I'm pretty sure that sounded really weird, but this guy's head is just so awesome. Like, look at these kind of details. We're used to like things like this. So it's really awesome to have such an upgraded version. So I got this little open wound here, and if you press it, it will make a sound. It's got a little sound box here, but I'm not gonna put batteries in it just yet. And he's also got this little tiny button here. You can flap his wings. So this guy is from the Lost World Jurassic Park line. It is JP24. I love that this guy is rubbery. Like like his whole back tail is completely rubber and it's got like a kind of a little mechanism here in the middle. You push these together, he kind of like smacks his tail a little bit. And he's also got this little secret flap here that comes off and reveals kind of a little wound here. Uh, I have no idea how people have managed to keep this thing for so long because this thing just like falls right off with the little tiny little tap. Just so happy to get this guy in this collection. But already this piece, I'm gonna lose it. Here are the two vehicles that came in this little collection. Um, this guy I already have has like this little kind of control thing here in the back where if you press this, the net kind of releases. So excited to get the Jungle Explorer. I've never had this before and I'm so happy that I found this and I'm really happy it was a bonus that this piece came with it. This, the little top kind of compartment comes off. Kind of take a look on the inside. Normally there'd be like, you know, um, uh, the kind of a TV box in there and whatnot, but it's just like the seats and the wheel and there's not even, I don't even have like a back seat back here. I don't know if there's, I think there's supposed to be like something here. I don't really remember off the top of my head what it's supposed to be, but there's definitely supposed to be something back there, but I'm missing it. This little trapper thing, you put like the net on here or something. And then you like press, I, I don't really know what it does, but it's like this little thing. It does come with this kind of little piece of wood here and it kind of breaks open. So if you look on the back here, you can actually stick um, this little piece of wood like over here. And then when you like break through the gates and you like punch it, it opens. 
seconds. And I don't really know why you want to break into the park. Well, what am I talking about? I'd want to break into the park. Okay, all my dinosaurs are dead. Oh, I'm not gonna put them all back in a row. So in the comments down below, guys, please let me know what your favorite toy was that I got in this line. Was it like the new stuff? Was it maybe some of these things that maybe, you know, you haven't maybe seen before from like the Jurassic Park 3 line? I know I haven't seen those things. Um, You know, or maybe is it some of those classics? So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel and Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary. Pew, pew.